What's going on everybody? Thanks for checking out Toggle AI. Today I'm going to give you a full tutorial of how to get the custom sigils do-it-yourself mod to work. This mod's by Hoax Squared, I believe he pronounces it. A great mod, by the way. 817 endorsements should have a lot more, especially since it's been up since 2012. Now the author himself does videos covering Photoshop. Today I'm going to cover Paint.net. For those of you that don't want to purchase Photoshop or whatever the case may be. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to come to the files page. Uh, today I'm going to show the shields. We're looking for this file here, custom sigils, shields, core files. We're going to download it manually. And we're also going to get the Photoshop template for shields. Yes, I have some things to endorse that I haven't had time to play yet. All right, let's drag these out here as soon as this other one is done. Also, I want to give a thank you to Cherry Blossom in the comments here. Cherry Blossom is the one who gives the link to this site here. Since I'm not using Photoshop, I need to convert the Photoshop plugin file to a DDS file. So the site the Cherry Blossom used or recommended, you'll come here. What you're gonna do, open up the plugin. You have this right here. Go ahead and copy it out to the desktop. Now here, choose your file. All right. And you have to make sure that it is DXT5. It has to be that or it will not work properly. Leave everything else alone. Click Convert File. Now I've already done this and just to speed things up, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the whole thing here. What you'll end up getting is this right here. This file is what it'll spit out, which just converts it to the DDS. Once you get this, Open with paint.net. And today I'm just gonna play around with my my own little YouTube icon and add it in there and show you how I got it into the game. Now I'm by no means a paint.net expert at all. I've only started messing with it maybe a couple weeks ago. So I'm not gonna cover all this stuff. I'm just gonna give you the basics and show you how to get it in here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just because that's pretty much how my YouTube deal is too. The background is black. All right, now I'm gonna open up my icon. And I'm gonna adjust the size a bit because the other one is a 2048. And I'm going to take the magic wand, get it all transparent, select all, copy, come back to the other one here, edit, paste into new layer, and we're going to move this around, try to center it a bit. We'll cut the bottom off. I've already done this once, so I'm just kind of blowing through it as quick as possible, and hopefully I don't get you guys confused at all. All right, so we got that good. And now as far as the effects go, okay, your layers, I'm going to select what I just put on there, which is the icon. And you can see the bottom of it is going outside of the actual sigil icon that we installed or downloaded. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the eraser and we're going to get it out of here. And because I'm selected on layer 2, which is my icon, it's only erasing my icon and not the sigil icon. 
Let's see, we're going to cut a good little bit off here. Get rid of all this. All right, and from here, you're just going to, you can play around with colors, whatever you want to. You can mess with effects. There's a bunch of plugins that you can get for effects for paint.net. So I'm going to come down here. A couple of them I was playing with. Uh, let's see. Just so it doesn't look so stamped on and perfect. We'll mess with the little expansion. This I thought looked really good, smudge. You can come in here, kind of ruin some of these little perfect lines so it looks like maybe the paint's worn down, the shield's got hit a bit, whatever the case is. And what you can do with this, this is a plug-in, I believe. Yes, smudge by Pyro Child. Is you can do a little section at a time, click OK, go back and look at it. You can say, oh, I don't... I went too much there, I don't really like how it turned out. Just go back into history. Go back, now it's undone. And you can go for it again. Tools, smudge. And you can retry. And you can keep doing that instead of doing the whole thing at once, you can do little pieces of it and then keep clicking OK, like OK, I'm OK with that, how that is. So let's do it again. So you don't have to redo everything from the very beginning. We'll just run down through here some. And you can imagine you do the whole thing like that. And to make it look like maybe the paint's running a bit, whatever the case is, from where we cut it off at the bottom. We're going to sit here and... I'm going to play with the bottom a bit. Like I said, obviously I'm no paint.net expert. I'm sure you can do a lot more with this. And I, I did more the first time I played with it, but I just want to give a tutorial for you guys to be able to jump in and get your own going. And then you can spend three hours like I did messing with it and trying to perfect it and not be happy with it and just delete it and start over. All right, good enough. We messed it up a bit. You can see it looks a little bit run down at the bottom now. And let's see if there's anything else we want to mess with. Transparency. Yeah, why not? I believe the author of the mod also comments that anything you put in here is going to be brighter. Or it's going to show up brighter in game. So be aware of that you might just have to play with it a few times is all. No big deal. Alright, are there any more effects we want to mess with? Oh, something else you can do. Didn't quite look right with mine, but you can create this new layer here. We'll grab the paintbrush. Uh, let's go with uh, white. Why not? Let's not go completely solid. Let's go 80%. Just going to make some lines. And then we're going to use another plugin. And where was it? Jitter. Another one by Pyro Child. All right, so we got those lines a little messed up. Okay, obviously it's uh, it's a bit too much. Let's play with this real quick. There we go. We can kind of fade it out a bit. Maybe the shield looks a bit more worn now. And I'm going to call that good just for the purposes of this tutorial. Uh, another thing to mention, you can notice here I have my robot type side on the left and the human side on the right. 
In order for that to stay true in game and not to flip it, you have to actually flip it here. So I have to flip it horizontal. Sorry, I clicked on the wrong layer. Let's go ahead and merge all these together. All right. Now we'll do it. Flip horizontal. And you also have to rotate. There we go. Rotate 90 degrees clockwise. It's just something the game needs. Don't know why. All right, we come up, save, save as. You have to save it as custom sigil for it to work. So take away the dash and the basic. It has to be custom sigil or it will not work. I had this problem at first. It just is that way. I guess it's the way the mod author has the mod set up so that it uses the correct file. But just be sure it has to be custom sigil. We're going to save. I'm going to replace my old one. And up here as well, you need to be at DXT5. Okay. We're all saved. We're out of it. Here's this one. Now I'm using mod organizer. I'm going to go ahead and let that get up and running. And we're going to come to our core files. In our core files, let's go to textures, armor, custom sigil. Here is the original. We're just going to simply delete it. And we're going to drag in the one we just made. Don't mess with any settings. Click OK. Now we'll come to Mod Organizer. We're going to install it. Make sure you pick Core. Open. I'm not going to change the name. Just for now. You can after you test it. Make sure you activate it. And then you'll be able to check it out in game. Alright, and once in game, you're going to go to any forge. Go down to the iron category, and you'll see house shield. And you can see it takes leather strips, two firewood, and an iron ingot. Now I think the reason why my thing is kind of shifted is because when I flipped it, I think I kind of messed things up a bit, and that's why there's this gap. Like I said, you have to play with it. You can go back into paint.net and tweak it and do it however you want to. I've already created a couple of these. I'll give one to myself. And let's give one to Lydia right here. You. And for followers, I'm using amazing follower tweaks. And for here, you'll come to gear, standard outfit. Let's get going then. And there you can see. She's got the house shield. I've got the house shield. So you can see how it looks a little bit better from the front. If Lydia would quit walking in front of me. And that's it, guys. As simple as that. I know it took me a while to mess with it and play with it. It seems a little bit daunting at first. Especially if you're not so experienced with messing with some of those files or paint or anything like that but it's really not that hard hopefully this tutorial wasn't too fast and it shows you the basics and basically how to work the files that's it for the tutorial thanks for watching i hope it wasn't too fast for you guys i just wanted to really cover some key points and show you that it's not as intimidating as it might seem if you like the mod please endorse it I think it definitely deserves it. it, has a lot of potential to do something cool in game. There's a lot of awesome images that were uploaded by users on the mod page itself. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And you can also follow me on Tumblr and SoundCloud. Everything's under Toggle AI. Alright guys, have a good one.